welcome to the quick scan iOS dashboard. So in this dashboard, you would see all the different places that were scanned. So this one would give you statistics of um, the different types of cases, your total scan time, how much storage space you have uh, locally on your computer, and how much storage you have on your cloud. Now, if we move on to the case flow, this is the patient management part of the software. Here you would see the different types of cases that were scanned um, arranged by patient. So here you would see a sample scan for our patient Jane Doe. So I can open it up. And once I open it, uh, there would be a prescription. And in this view, basically, if I want to add another restoration, all I have to do is click the tooth number and the restoration materials will show up, the restoration types and the different materials available. So let's say I'm doing an anatomic crown. I'll click anatomic crown. And then from the material drop down list, I'll pick and choose which material mm. I want the lab to use. And then I'll note down the shade. And if this is an implant uh, supported crown, then I'll choose what type of um, restoration I want, if it's screw retained or cement retained, and what type of abutment. So let's see. So let's say I'm doing an anatomic crown on number four and I wanted zirconia A3. And I'll just click add. So once I click add, it will actually show up on the prescription list. Okay, right here. Now let's say I want to do a three unit bridge um, from number 28 to number 30. What I have to do is click on hold control, click on number 28 and number 30, and then do anatomic crown. And then choose the type of material. So let's say zirconia, we're still doing A3, and then click add. So because I click control, it actually, it automatically did the prescription for both number 28 and 30. So since it's a three unit bridge, obviously number 29 is a pontic. So I have to click 29 and choose anatomic pontic. And I'll do the same material and the same shade. And there you go. So that's my three unit bridge, 28, 29, 30. OK. Now, if I have any material that I want uh, to use, but it's not on the drop down list, or if I have any note for the lab, I can actually put it here on the comment section. So here on the comment section, I typed in, please use high translucency zirconia and all these things. So comment section. So let's say I'm done with the scan, right? I'm finished with the scan and the scan looks like this. I'm ready to place the cloud order. Now, if I'm ready to place the order, I'll just double check the details. Is this what I want? So I want crowns basically for number six to number 11, a uh, single unit for number four, and then a three unit bridge from 28 to 30. So those things are all here in the order list, which will become a PDF file later on. Now, when I'm placing the order, all I have to do is click cloud order and choose my lab from the drop down list. So here I'm choosing this lab. And if I put in any note for the lab, let's say last minute thing that I forgot to put on the comments, I'll just type them here. Please make sure instructions are followed. If I want to put the due date here, let's say due date two weeks from today, and I click OK, what this will do is actually give a note, a last minute reminder to make sure the data is complete and don't forget to include the shade. I'll just click OK and then wait for everything to upload. So the uploading time will depend on the size of the file. So the bigger the size of the file is, then the 
longer it takes to upload. And then uploading would also depend on your internet connection. If you have a slower internet connection, slower upload speeds, then of course the uploading would also be slower. Okay, so now this says upload successfully. I will click OK. And once I click OK, it will actually ask me to log in to my portal. And this is my portal, my cloud portal, and I can see it right here. Create time. This is the name of my patient, Jane Doe. And I sent it to this lab, Dental Price International Inc. Lab. So here, I would see several tabs on the right side. So the view on your lab's end would also be the same. Okay, so they would have download detail remark. On the, when the, if you click download, you will download the STL files or the PLY files that was associated with the case in a zip file. Okay, now if you click detail, on the detail side, you would see information about the patient, about the scanner, the, the restoration that you want to do. So here it's listed anatomic crowns, B1, B1, anatomic crown, zirconia, right here. They're all listed here. And the comments that I type in, they would appear under order remark. It says there, please use high translucent zirconia, etc. So you would see it right there. Now, your last minute instructions to the lab, they would see it under remarks. So if you click remarks, this is the remark that I, the note, the follow-up last minute note that I sent to them. It says, please make sure instructions are followed due date two weeks from today. Okay, so this is the tab where the lab will see your last minute comments on the remark. You won't find it on the details here on the order remark. You won't find it there, but you would see it under remark tab. Okay, so that is the basic um, the overview of the how your QuickScan software connects to your cloud portal. So here, let me go back to the software. As you would see, because I already uploaded the files in the cloud, you would see an additional tab here on the upper left corner that says ordered. Okay, and also the tab here. If you notice, it changed from cloud order to view order. So if you see something that says view order, it means you've already uploaded it in the cloud. Now, once you've uploaded a case in the cloud, you will not be able to resend it again because the tab would only say view order. Okay, so what do you have to do if you want to resend the same case with additional information to the lab? What you can do is actually click on copy case. See on the upper right side here, it says there's a tab here that says copy case. So you can click copy case and it will duplicate the case. So once a case is duplicated, you would see that now again the cloud order is functional. And here on top, you would see the patient name, uh, the type of workflow you use, and nothing here says order, right? So basically, the file was duplicated, and you can resend the, the case now to the lab with additional information or additional instructions um, when you do cloud order. Okay, so that's it for today. Just wanted to show you the dashboard and how the dashboard correlates to. Um, the cloud platform. Thanks for listening.